It was the aviation showdown of the decade. A high stakes duel between two aerospace titans fighting fiercely for the future of American air dominance. Just months ago, the entire NGAD program teetered on the brink of cancellation. Overshadowed by the stealthy B-21 Raider and an increasing focus on unmanned drones, questions swirled. Was the age of manned fighter jets coming to an abrupt end? Would the NGAD be scrapped in favor of a new strategy? But today, after relentless speculation and heated debate, the verdict is finally in. Boeing has triumphantly secured the monumental $20 billion contract to build the F-47, also known as the Next Generation Air Dominance or NGAD Fighter. This program breeds new life into America's commitment to manned combat aircraft. And this victory doesn't just mark Boeing's resurgence. It might very well reshape the trajectory of aerial warfare itself. If you followed my channel, you know we've closely tracked the NGAD's journey, a futuristic sixth generation fighter that's been cloaked in secrecy. This thing is more classified than Area 51 itself, and it's designed explicitly to surpass even the legendary F-22 Raptor. But Boeing's path to victory wasn't easy. Plagued by recent setbacks, Boeing desperately needed this win. Now, against all odds, they've earned a chance to reclaim their legacy. Yet, questions remain. Could this truly be Boeing's turning point after years of struggle? How many of these cutting-edge F-47 fighters will actually soar into production? And, intriguingly, is the 47 designation just coincidental or a deliberate nod to the current president? Buckle up, aviation fans, because the stakes have never been higher, and this is a story you won't want to miss. Pilotphotog.com We've just seen a glimpse of the NGAD, or what we believe is the NGAD, and it appears to have a white-coated skin, similar to what we've seen in the B-21 Raider. The last time there was a Boeing prototype with a lighter skin, well, that didn't go so well. Hopefully this time is different. Now, since we don't know exactly what the end guide looks like yet, I'll be using a few 3D models that are a best guess on what we know so far. It's better than looking at a still image for 20 minutes, right? All right, before we get into the details of the end guide, let's talk about what this means for Boeing. Winning any defense contract is monumental. It can secure a company's future and ensure stability for employees for decades. And the F-47 NGAD contract is certainly no exception. With an initial value of $20 billion, the full life cycle of the NGAD is expected to push that figure significantly higher, making this one of the most valuable and prestigious military aviation contracts ever awarded. And let's be honest, for Boeing, this contract could not have come at a more critical moment. The company has faced significant turbulence in recent years, from the highly publicized issues surrounding the 737 MAX, to considerable financial losses and ongoing production challenges. These setbacks have quite frankly shaken confidence in Boeing's once sterling reputation. And while it may seem easy to forget, Boeing's capability and resilience shouldn't be underestimated, especially given their strategic merger with McDonnell Douglas back in 1997. Although not without growing pains and issues, this merger ultimately brought extensive defense sector expertise into Boeing, including experience from legendary combat-proven aircraft such as the F-15 Eagle and F-A-18 Super Hornet. Now these platforms not only demonstrate Boeing's long-standing innovation in military aviation, but they also reinforce another reason why Boeing was uniquely positioned to secure the NGAD contract. More on that in a minute. Now, I get it. The skeptics among you might argue that Boeing was chosen merely to spread out defense contracts evenly among the major aerospace players, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and of course, Boeing. However, this perspective overlooks Boeing's genuine strengths 
extensive, as we've already mentioned, defense portfolio, and proven capability in developing versatile and technologically advanced aircraft. More than just a simple balancing act, awarding Boeing the NGAD contract reflects the Air Force's confidence in Boeing's ability to deliver cutting-edge innovation, cost-effective solutions, and unmatched versatility that's going to be needed for future air dominance. And here's the other thing you may not know about. The Boeing NGAD prototype has been rumored to have been flying now for five years, if not longer. In fact, some believe that Boeing's mysterious X-37 has been used as an advanced testbed for the NGAD to evaluate materials or avionics that will ultimately be used in the F-47. At the end of the day, Boeing's win with the NGAD isn't merely a lifeline, it's a powerful statement. This victory represents not just a recovery, but a potential turning point that could place Boeing firmly back at the forefront of military aviation while significantly reshaping its trajectory in the aerospace industry. Now, as you can imagine, the F-47 will be packed with cutting edge stealth and electronic warfare capabilities, making it nearly invisible to enemy sensors. But while military jets have advanced countermeasures to stay off the grid, your personal data doesn't unless you take action. Have you ever wondered why you keep getting spam calls, weird emails, or even junk email with your name on it? Your personal data is out there, brought and sold by data brokers without your consent. And it's not just annoying, it's a security risk. Data brokers collect and sell your personal information, sometimes even exposing it on people's search sites. That means hackers, scammers, or even complete strangers can track down your personal details, your home address, phone number, and even your family's information without you even knowing. That's where today's sponsor Incogni comes in. Incogni automatically contacts data brokers on your behalf, requests removals, and keeps your information from being relisted, all without you lifting a finger. Take control of your privacy today. Click the link in the description get 60% off and let Incogni wipe your information from these databases before it falls into the wrong hands. All right, now let's take a look at the F-47 itself. The F-47 NGAT isn't just another fighter jet. It's actually the centerpiece of a revolution in aerial combat. Remember, the whole point of the NGAT is to be a system of systems. The F-47 is just the center point of that whole warfighting ecosystem. Designed from the ground up to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor, the F-47 is built specifically to meet the challenges of today's battlefield. What does that mean? Well, while the Raptor was envisioned during the Cold War and was tailored for relatively short-range combat over Europe, the F-47 is basically designed with one mission in mind, dominating the vast expanses of the Pacific Theater, where distances can be measured in thousands of miles, not hundreds. One of the most game-changing aspects of the F-47 is its perhaps unique ability to fly both manned and unmanned missions. Just like its stealthy cousin, the B-21 Raider, the F-47 can seamlessly shift between having a pilot in the cockpit or operating autonomously. This built-in flexibility will dramatically lower the risks that pilots can face in dangerous combat situations, while still enabling the option to have human pilots fly or take the controls when the mission demands it. Now getting back to that system of systems, the F-47 doesn't fight alone. Instead, it serves as the central hub, the quarterback of an entire fleet of collaborative combat aircraft or CCAs. These advanced drone wingmen significantly expand the fighter's reach and capabilities. These large drones can carry out high-risk tasks like electronic warfare, recon, and even precision attacks all while the F-47 oversees operations from a safer distance. This isn't just about technology, it's about rewriting the rules of aerial warfare. Now let's face it, over the past few years, we've seen what drones can do. And for the most part, those were small, off-the-shelf drones adapted to fight. Imagine what fighter-sized drones designed for combat can do. Then imagine dozens of them being controlled by a single F-47. Can you see where this is going? A single F-47 and a drone swarm could ruin an enemy Air Force's day. 
Another critical advantage of the F-47 is its long-range capability. Engineered specifically to patrol the massive distances across the Pacific, the aircraft's extended range reduces the constant need for aerial refueling. This means missions last longer, response times are faster, and America's strategic advantage over potential adversaries is preserved, even in regions where friendly bases are few and far between. So what's in a name, or in this case, a number? The selection of F-47 for Boeing's groundbreaking NGAD fighter has, of course, many aviation enthusiasts buzzing with speculation. Most intriguingly, the 47 could be interpreted as a subtle nod to our current president, Trump, who, as you know, is the 45th and more importantly, the 47th president of the United States. This draws a direct parallel between major military projects and presidential legacies. Now, this is a tradition that actually has precedent in the military. For example, usually aircraft carriers are named after former presidents such as the CV-71, aka the USS Theodore Roosevelt. However, as of the making of this video, there's been no official confirmation of this symbolic link, leading, of course, to alternative theories. And we know the internet likes its theories. Some people speculate that the Air Force simply continued sequential numbering following the F-35 Lightning with a higher number designation to emphasize its generational leap. Another theory suggests that the 47 might reference a significant internal milestone within Boeing or even the Air Force, such as 2047, the target date for full operational deployment. Now, even that's got sort of a precedent. The B-52, of course, flew in 1952, and that was one of the reasons it received that designation. So the whole name it after a year thing is not unheard of. Regardless, whatever the true inspiration behind the number, it undeniably adds to the mysterious and intrigue surrounding America's newest fighter, which is already making the F-47 name both memorable and historic. Now again, this isn't just another advanced fighter. The F-47 NGAT is a dramatic shift, one that aligns directly with the evolving threats that are facing the US military today. In fact, the most direct parallel you could make is China's J-36, which flew recently. I've done a whole video on that airplane. You can check that out after this one. Link in the description below. Indeed, the F-47 marks Boeing's return to the forefront of air combat innovation and reaffirms America's commitment to air dominance for decades to come. Remember, over at Boeing, the F-18 Super Hornet production is finally winding down, and while the F-15EX, or Eagle II, is ramping up, the acquisition of the F-47 contract basically puts Boeing in the front of military aviation manufacturing again. Now make no mistake, the F-47 isn't just here to join the fight, it's here to change the game entirely. And we're only beginning to understand what the F-47 can do. Ultimately, Boeing's groundbreaking victory with the F-47 doesn't just benefit one company. It reshapes the entire American aerospace industry. In fact, with Boeing now leading the NGAD fighter project, Lockheed Martin producing the proven and ever-upgradable F-35 Lightning, and Northrop Grumman handling both the stealthy B-21 Raider and the Navy's next-generation fighter, the FAXX, each of America's aerospace giants now hold critical major defense programs. Along with each major company having at least one massive project, these moves could start to shift manufacturing jobs back to the United States and its closest allies. And remember, competition is always a good thing. This healthy distribution of projects across multiple companies basically creates an intensely, fiercely competitive environment, which is exactly what the industry needs to stay sharp. Remember, Healthy competition drives innovation. This ensures that each manufacturer pushes technological boundaries to deliver superior performance, efficiency, and capability. Moreover, spreading vital contracts among several companies mitigates the risk of over-depending on a single vendor. It promotes more robust supply chains, and if COVID taught us anything, it's the importance of supply chains, and also supports thousands of high-quality American jobs across multiple regions. 
In essence, Boeing's NGAD win sets the stage for decades of dynamic innovation, robust job creation, and unmatched technological advancement, further solidifying America's status as the global leader in aerospace and military aviation. In the end, Boeing's dramatic victory in the NGAD competition marks much more than just another defensive contract. For Boeing, it signals a resurgence for a company eager to reclaim its legendary status and ensures America's aerospace giants, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, each have a critical role in shaping our nation's defense. Make no mistake, the F-47 NGAD is already a game changer, and it's being tailor-made for today's high-stakes Pacific theater and blends manned and unmanned capabilities that will lead a new era of air warfare. From narrowly escaping cancellation to securing its place as America's fighter of the future, the F-47's journey has been seen as dramatic and it's been groundbreaking. It may end up being the ultimate comeback story of all time for Boeing. But now I want to hear from you. Do you think Boeing was the right choice for the NGAD? How do you see the F-47 changing aerial combat? What's your theory on the 47 designation? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date on everything aviation. Until next time, keep looking to the skies. This is Tog, signing off, and now you know. PilotPhotog.com